1912, April 14th, at 11.39 p.m., the iceberg was approaching Titanic. Titanic had moments to, you know, turn and all that stuff. So the lookout rung his bell three times in the crow's nest right here. Bridge got it right here, and they are ordering to hard starboard. So then they put the engines reverse. They thought it would work back here. Then they turned. The rudder went like that. Then they slowly, slowly turned, but it was too late. women and children, no men on the lifeboats. This is why it there's less women and children on the boat than men. And they wanted everyone to get off safety, so they put women and children on, but the women refusing to get on the lifeboat without their gentlemen. So then the officers were out armed. So then the bow when when it was going down men on the lifeboat. Not much though. Most of the third class passengers passed away and died in the freezing Atlantic Ocean. But some survived in the end. Now, you have to keep your account at the time that this was the unsinkable boat. It was unsinkable. People thought it was unsinkable. But if you can see the impact, you're in a battleship. Can't, can if they hit an iceberg on the side, you know it's gonna sink. Especially this type of boat, it's so heavy, and all the water just evaporates. Just going in there, goes up to deck, deck, deck. About two hours and forty minutes, the the Titanic sees the ocean floor. About two thirty, the ice, the boat cracks in half. Stays there for a while, probably around 30 seconds or so. Cracking in half took about 30 seconds. Then the bow went down, attached, and it went down like whoosh. Kind of like National Geographic, if you saw. It was exactly like that. They were really right about that, about how the ship cracked in half. But the only problem was they had records of the stern coming up even more. So I don't know. They cut out the stern way way up. From their perspective, it didn't go that up. Like it probably went up because they have they have a real camera that actually took pictures of the sinking Titanic. It was probably about this. National Geographic had it about this. And they said the sinking right here, it took only about three to four minutes to sink this whole entire thing right here. Nope, that's wrong. It took about an hour to sink because right here, the water, the, the watertight doors were closing water in, but then the stress. So it stayed at that position for quite a while until the water spilled over. They got the extra light boat out. No information is on this. The only information I can find is on the Titanic movie, which is actually kind of accurate, but not really accurate. See if you can see here. This is the coolest Titanic model that you ever can see. It is motor power too, so that's pretty cool. 27 megahertz. So if you can see here, the big boilers, when it got to this level right here, the the string snap, 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 and then the boiler came down in the funnel, whatever you call it. But down here, and you're probably wondering, if you have a Titanic book, I have one at school, and if you lift um, up the Titanic, one of the boilers were on, 
here's why. I my prediction is that um when it tipped over, everything was falling over. Maybe they left one of the um dampers open and maybe coal flew in there. And maybe that's caused it caused it. Or maybe it just was an art mistake. So don't know. And this was the where the grand stair wall was, so yeah. Grand stairwell. And then right here we at night this is what happens. It completely illuminates. It's just so pretty. Let's talk about something more. Not, I'm gonna just point it to third class. Let's talk about all the lice in the Titanic. The third class was kind of like the cheapest. It was the cheapest. It was about 35 pounds to get in third class. About, um, I don't know exactly how much it was, but that's pretty cheap for this huge ocean liner. And I was surprised how cheap the first class is. I'll get to that in a little bit. But 35 pounds is not that much. But back then, they didn't really have that much money. So, because jobs weren't giving them that much money, so people couldn't afford third class. Now, that'd be very sad if they couldn't. And plus, they overstock really fast, too. So, who knows? Then, the third class passengers had a pretty good life. They can go... You can go on the upper deck, but first class gets the first thing. So, yeah. Let's move on to second class. Second class life, see those the little bobs and the little windows? Second class life was pretty good as well. You got to eat really good dinner. Not as not as good as first class, but just not as bad as third class, but you get to eat really good dinner. Actually I think they're all the same. You got to eat dinner, you got to play on the first deck. And if there's a collision, you get in the second and go in the lifeboat. I think it's pretty cool. And it's around 55 pounds. Now on first class. This is the class you want to be in if you like riding the Titanic. This is so expensive. Back then it was. It was 75 pounds to get in first class, but you get so much stuff. Comfortable rooms, more comfortable rooms, huge ass rooms, sorry about that, huge rooms, and also, you first get in the lifeboat, so that means more survival for you. So yeah, some third class survive, but mostly just second class and first class survive. So I hope you like this brief overview of the Titanic set. I got this from Amazon for about $120, it's motor powered, and you can do stuff with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video.